The smart home industry is actually getting smart again. It stagnated for a while, but this is an actual leap in innovation for the first time in a while. We'll get onto that rather polarizing title beneath me in a minute, but imagine a hub that works with other manufacturers' products that ran entirely locally without internet that had both a thread and Zigbee radios built into it. Forget this, and this is really clever. It not only learns infrared remotes and repeats them so that you can make dumb things like your TV smart, it goes a step further and actually has the ability to listen permanently to your remote. Check this out. I can't believe this. This is a dumb aircon remote for a dumb aircon unit. That's Home Assistant, right? Watch this. <gasps> what on earth? I can turn it off and on. An infrared remote is controlling a home assistant. That's just never happened. It's completely unparalleled. Insanity. <gasps> I know that was Home Assistant. I know, I know it was Home Assistant. We'll get onto that in a second. If your Neanderthal wife uses the remote control, e e the hub realizes that you've used the remote control and actually keeps everything in sync so that all of your automations stay working properly. And this is more surprising than that time that Marty McFly invented rock and roll. Thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Akara M3 hub and their thread-based matter sensor range. Akara's stuff has always worked primarily locally without the cloud anyway, but now they've decided they're coming after Home Assistant by making their latest M3 hub entirely local. This means that all of their devices all of their automations are utilizing this hub instead of being reliant on either the cloud or the internet. Get this, <laughs> they've also made it so that because it's Matter, it will actually accept other companies' Matter devices. Check this out. What? What witchcraft is this? No, what? <gasps> what? This is unnatural. This is so natural. How eyebrow raising is this exactly? Let's find out on the preposterousometer. Hang on. Meanwhile in space, Jeff Bezos sits in his cock-shaped rocket, contemplating the universe. What was that? This is a thread-based matter hub that works with all of Akara's previous Zigbee products, that has a 360 degree infrared blaster built into it for controlling things like your TV and your set-top boxes and your aircon. What? That's impossible. That's impossible. But they're also aiming to get all of your devices under one roof and give you total privacy whilst doing so. It can be connected wirelessly via either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network bands, but also has PoE. So it's got an ethernet port that can be powered so that you can actually power the hub using your ethernet PoE router. It, what? Once matter devices become the norm, this will be the one true hub to rule them all. So without further ado, here are three major innovations that Akara have thrown at this thing, just like Leonardo DiCaprio threw himself at me in Titanic. <laughs> This hub is part of a new generation of Akara hubs that they're calling Edge Hubs. This is one of their old hubs. I know it looks like a camera and a cat. I don't know why. I love this thing, right? It's a really good hub, but when you add this thing to your network, it says, Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. It takes anything that used to rely on the cloud and says, I'm the cloud now. 
Come to me to do your automations. Come to me to communicate with each other. The other really clever thing in that regard is that this thing, right? You've got more than one of them on your network, and this one falls over for some reason. All of the automations and stuff fail over to the second one. How? How clever is that? Probably more ridiculously though, if both of the Okara M3 Edge hubs went down, everything would carry on working apparently because of something called Arc technology, where all of the mesh extenders continue to talk to each other and carry on doing their automations anyway. Stop sending eyebrows to space. The hub has a 95 decibel speaker in it to act as a siren as part of a car's alarm system, but they have put no other communicative device in there. There's no microphone and there's no camera. And this is on purpose. This is because they want to give you a little bit more privacy than you would get from one of their other hubs, which is camera based, so that you can put this thing in your bedroom and feel completely confident. Because people get scared of, uh, of their privacy being blown. People get very scared. I'm not supposed to be scared. I was just a little hiccup in the power. Yeah, I didn't say I was scared. Yeah. I'm not scared either, boys. I didn't say you were scared. I know. What? Yes, I know. I know I've used that clip six million times. It's because it's funny when it and it took hours. All of the logs and all of the automations are stored locally on this device, so privacy is second to none when it comes to a consumer-based hub. You can still access all this stuff when you're away from home, if you need to be able to do something with your car and network whilst you're abroad, for example, but you have end-to-end -end encryption. They really have thought of everything when it comes to privacy on a consumer level. And because it's Akara, it works with Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, and Google Home. I use Home Assistant! I, I'm aware of that. The Hadza tribe of Tanzania are aware of that. Everybody is aware that you like Home Assistant. I feel the same way, okay? I love Home Assistant too, and we'll talk more about it in a moment. The really important thing here, and this is, this is worth noting, because this is a matter thread-enabled hub that can talk to Home Assistant, it means that Home Assistant now has all of my Akara devices working locally via Matter in Home Assistant. Hey, this is another really cool thing. My wife and I do not appreciate you making Home Assistant jokes. We are not all the same. Isn't that right, wife? Yes. Because the Akara M3 hub is based on Thread, this also means that Akara can start to create Thread-based devices, and create them they have. He said, like Master Yoda talking in reverse. Nick, it's why you fail. The Akara P2 sensors that they've started to release, these things, because they are Thread-based, will work with your Amazon Echo, they will work with your HomePod Mini and your HomePod, they'll even work with Home Assistant if you have a Thread border router. They of course work with Google Home too, because Google Home has Thread. Put it in a bin, no one cares. Google. Pop us in a bin. Put it in a bin. But the weirdest thing for sure is seeing the Philips Hue stuff working inside the Akara app. I never thought I would see the day. And Akara have massive plans for this. They intend to make any matter enabled device work within the system. It's not quite there yet, we'll talk more about that in a moment. And another big thing that makes this the one hub to rule them all is its infrared blaster. As I already said at the beginning of this video, this thing can listen to your remote controls as well as blast the infrared, and this sets it apart from everything I have ever featured before. Nothing to this date, and people ask me about this all the time, is able to listen out for your remote key presses during its normal operation and then react to them. This is brand new technology. So if Akara's hub can control all of these devices, including Matter and Infrared and Zigbee and Thread, is there any need for Home Assistant anymore? I will take a shovel to your head! Of course there is, because Home Assistant is awesome. I don't think we'll ever fully do away with Home Assistant because it is a tinkerer's dream. It's a software solution not a hardware solution, and if anything, the Matter M3 hub actually complements Home Assistant because it lets us get thread devices into Home Assistant that we couldn't have done any other way because we need a thread border gateway. Akara might tempt away a few basic Home Assistant users that are just kind of onboarding to that whole thing and are already fed up with some of the complications that come with it. They might abandon their Raspberry Pi and say, you know what, the Akara system is far easier. 
But if you're a tinkerer like me, this is just another tool to add to Home Assistant. There's another thing that makes Home Assistant even more powerful, and that's the beauty of this kind of setup. So with all that said, is there any anything to talk about negative-wise? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. Before I say any of this, it's still really early days. This thing doesn't even release for another three months at time of filming. So please take all of this with a pinch of salt and check the description to see if any of it has been updated. But currently, the amount of Mata devices that actually work with this from third parties, very slim. They said you, they said you couldn't do this. <gasps> oh my goodness. Is it gonna actually work? Oh, gutted! They added Phillips Hue, didn't they? Phillips Hue, who I definitely don't hate, definitely don't make me vomit in my mouth every time I think about them. Kept pairing code. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. No, I don't want to. S you fucking pricks. You fucking knobhead pricks. Oh god, I hate you people. For that to work as well, you still need the Philips Hue hub, which is a bit annoying. Because it's Matter based and all of the Philips Hue stuff is Zigbee based and there isn't a Zigbee driver for Philips Hue to work in a car, they've done a kind of workaround. So it does work with Philips Hue stuff, but you still need their hub. The advantage is you can use the Acara app to control all that stuff so you can keep all of your things under one roof. The bigger thing for me, and this is a bit sad, is that the remote controls uh, for your TVs cannot be exposed to matter currently. I've asked them if they plan to change that because this is a big thing for me. Home Assistant, currently the only real way to kind of control TVs, in my opinion, is the Broadlink integration, and it's really ugly. Very messy. If Akara allow us to expose our TV remotes to matter, I'll be able to use them in Home Assistant. That would be huge. Akara, please do this. I'm begging you. This hub is leaps and bounds of innovation. Everything I've seen up until this point for matter tends to kind of sort of work. Akara have absolutely got it nailed. Everything I added it to went, oh, there's a hub and there are all of the devices behind that hub. It's genius. If you add to that the fact that this thing is as private as it is, it's a real contender for buying instead of a Raspberry Pi and instead of going the Home Assistant route. But if you are a Home Assistant user, this is a really good thread border gateway. If you want to pick one up, as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can do that. In the meantime, these incredible people are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I would be working in a call center. I'm thanking one every single week, and this week, it is Duncan Hunter. Thank you, Duncan. Duncan is my most recent patron, and without him, like I said, I wouldn't be able to do this for a living. If you want to be like Duncan or these guys, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks, these are my X's, these are my threads, these are my Instagrams, these are my TikToks. Come and hang out there and give me best friends. See you next time. Staying perfectly still is hard. <laughs> the Akara have thrown at this thing, just like Leonardo Di Caprio. Stop sending eyebrows to space.